Hello everybody, Reaper here, and today we are going to be making a tier list of the mainline Call of Duty games. Now we do have a spot right here which is never played. I have five of them here. I've never played them. Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty World War 2, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I have never played them. So let's get right into it. Now we're going to start off with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Now I barely played the multiplayer of this it was decent i did play the campaign the campaign i could play it at least five or six times back in the day i loved the campaign the multiplayer just didn't speak to me so i'm actually going to be putting it in a b i'll, I'll put it in b now, we're gonna get right into Advanced Warfare. This right here was one of my favorite Call of Duties growing up. One of my first Call of Duties that I actually started streaming back in the day. I played a lot of the multiplayer. I played the campaign. The campaign was decent at best, but the multiplayer was fun. The only thing that really like messed up the multiplayer was that you had to open care packages to unlock certain weapons you had people that were playing with op weapons that you could only get by spending money in the game to get these cases so that said i will be putting it a specifically just because i just loved playing it and i did a lot with it okay now we're gonna get with black ops Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, this by far was one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. I played multiplayer a shit ton. I used to have my cousins, my brother. We used to come here and like stay be here and play four player all day long. I also used to play a lot of the wager matches. The campaign was decent, but what really got me going with Call of Duty Black Ops was the zombies. Now, I love Call of Duty Zombies. It's one of my biggest things with this franchise. And I used to play Kino literally every day. My highest round on Kino back in the day was 200. I literally had to keep the Xbox 360 on for literally a week to get this. I still don't know how it didn't overheat, but it. I just don't understand that, but it was what got me heavily into Call of Duty to the point to where I played it a lot. So for me, this is going to have to be an S tier game. Now, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I played the campaign. It was fun. I played the multiplayer. The multiplayer was decent. Not as good as Black Ops, but Black Ops 2 multiplayer was still fun. Now, the zombies was really good. I loved a lot of the zombies in this, zombies maps in this, especially Transit. It was really fun, but it definitely wasn't as fun as a lot of the other maps in Black Ops. So I will have to put this in A instead of S, which is a surprise. I would probably put most of Black Ops in S if I'm being honest, but it, it's definitely not on par with Black Ops. Now we got Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is by far probably my all-time favorite for a uh, multi for not multi for uh, zombies. Call of Duty Zombies for Black Ops 3 is by far one of my most favorite things of all time. They made it so easy to play modded maps in this. If you go to the workshop and you actually like get into the nitty-gritty and you, you just find modded maps and you just go into the game and just turn them on and you can play any any of those modded maps for call of duty zombies i have a few videos on this channel i think a thing right now one i was making a few others of me playing a modded custom zombies map that was on this game and they were literally th that one was literally made recent like, people are still making Call of Duty custom zombie mats for this game. So, this is definitely going in S tier, for sure. Now, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, there's no campaign. Multiplayer was lackluster. 
But what got me going with this one was Blackout. Blackout was really fun to me. It's literally what got me into Battle Royales. This was my gateway into Battle Royales. Not my favorite Battle Royale by any means. <clears throat> there was a lot of issues with it. But it what got me into Battle Royales in general. So I'm going to be putting this in B tier. Because, the like I said, the multiplayer was lackluster. The Battle Royale is decent. And there's no campaign. If it's Call of Duty, it has to have a campaign for it to be any higher than B. I'll tell you that right now. I, I can't. I need a campaign. So, Activision, if you're watching, don't make another Call of Duty without a campaign. Because we, we need a campaign for these games. There's so many people out there that play these games specifically just for the campaign. Okay, now next up, we have Call of Duty Cold War. Now, I played a little bit of it for multiplayer. It was, again, all right. I played the campaign. The campaign was pretty fun wasn't the best campaign out there but it it was still pretty fun now I wanted to play the zombies I had some fun with zombies but it got boring real fast because they changed next to everything and then you had that big huge map for zombies that they did they did like two or three of them and it was a precursor to what we got with mono warfare uh, 3 to be honest but I'm going to have to put this actually in C tier because the, the zombies was really not the best for me in this one. I played like two or three of the maps and I only played them for a little bit. They weren't the best, so that's where that's going to have to go. Now, this one's going to be controversial. Call of Duty Ghost. Now, the campaign was amazing. I know a lot of people probably hate it. I know a lot of people hate the multiplayer. The multiplayer was decent. I didn't like that to go to get care packages. You had to actually kill someone that had the care package symbol. And you had to do a mission afterwards in the, in the middle of the game to be able to do, be able to actually like do get the care package, which was a little annoying. The maps weren't the best. The guns really weren't the best. But like I said, the campaign was good for me. Realistically, I would really love for them to do a continuation of the Ghost campaign. Because I want to see what happens after everything. But they never will. This is the most hated, one of the most hated Call of Duties of all time. So it won't be getting a campaign, another campaign. Now, I really wish they would. But they won't. Like I said, but in the campaign was, I mean, not the campaign, the multiplayer was not fun that much. I would put this at D because it's lower, but I'm actually going to make an exception and I'm going to put Call of Duty Ghost into F tier. I'm going to make a whole new tier in just F because they failed us literally with this game. I mean, I understand that if they did a second one and just for campaign, that would probably bump it up to a D tier. But for me, they, they're never going to. They It's literally what they want to wipe from their history books. And it's... For the multiplayer-wise, I understand. Now, for the next one is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Now, this is actually what got me back into playing the multiplayer for Call of Duty. I had a lot of fun with this. So, multiplayer was really fun for me. The campaign was decent. I know a lot of people are going to flame me for that because I didn't it didn't wow me. But the multiplayer was really fun for me. So, I'm going to be putting this into B tier so that it got me back into Call of Duty at the time. Now, next we have the original Modern Warfare 2. I played a lot of the multiplayer in this. This right here, as a kid, got me into shooters in general, mostly. Now, I did play Halo a bunch before this, but before that, I wasn't really playing any, like, shooters. And seeing this for the first time was fun. 
I played a lot of it. The campaign was spectacular, especially some of the missions. I know there was a few missions that were controversial, but the multiplayer was fun. The campaign was spectacular. This one, just for the multiplayer alone, would get an A tier. But with the campaign being as good as it was, it's going to get an S tier for sure. It was really, really fun. Now, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the original Modern Warfare 3 that came after the original Modern Warfare 2. The multiplayer was decent. It wasn't it wasn't on par with Modern Warfare 2 to me. The campaign was definitely on par with Modern Warfare 2. I loved the campaign with it. So I am going to have to give this an A tier specifically because of literally just the campaign. The multiplayer I played a little bit of, not a lot, didn't wow me, but let's just say the campaign is enough to give it A tier for me. Okay, next we're going to be doing with the new Modern Warfare 2. Now, this is going to be controversial for some. I enjoyed it. I loved it. The multiplayer love the campaign the multiplayer is the first ever multiplayer that i grinded every camo in this game now the reason why it's controversial for me it really upset me but then no not down there but uh, it really upset me that they when they when this game came out they announced that they were not making another call of duty the next year so i was like i'll, I'll buy it and I will grind the camos. This whole reason why I grinded the camos is because I was like, I'll have an extra year to play with these camos and deal with everything. But then literally right after I got done grinding the camos, they decided to say, oh, we're, ma we're making another game for next year now. And you're gonna have to pay more than what you paid for this game. That actually upset me to where I literally, after five months of this game being out, I just flat out stopped playing for like four or five months i eventually went back to it and started playing some more but i literally just full-on just stopped playing call of duty for a long time just because of that so i understand that that probably did that to a lot of other people and a lot of people probably are also just stopped playing in general and aren't playing call of duty because of that but if it wasn't for that this game would be an S tier for me. But just for the fact that they lied to us and they made me stop playing the game because they lied to us, I'm putting it two tiers down in B just for the fact of they lied to us. Now, the new Modern Warfare 3, I grinded all the camos in it until like the newer guns because I've uh, been playing other stuff recently. But... Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer is really fun. The campaign upset me. Very. Like, I say very, but a lot. Like, the ending of it is... I'm not going to do any spoilers. The ending of it is literally just way too fast. The campaign seems like it was just meant to be a small DLC for Modern Warfare 2. To be honest. The campaign is very fast. It ends abruptly for no reason whatsoever for the fact that they just wanted some shock and awe at the end of the campaign because they knew it had to end there because they didn't have enough time to make more. The multiplayer is fun. I enjoy the multiplayer. The guns are fun. The movement's fun. I enjoy it. Now, the new zombies mode that they have in there is okay. It, it would be way better if it didn't have all the glitches, all the, the lag, all the random, like, you can fall through the world randomly out of nowhere. I've had that multiple times where I'm just walking down a road to get into a building. I just somehow just fall through the world out of nowhere. If it didn't have that to deal with, it would be way higher. But I'm going to be putting this in B tier as well with Modern Warfare 2, because, strictly just because I like the multiplayer. Now, the next one is Call of Duty Vanguard. I played barely any of the multiplayer. I didn't even play the campaign. Because I just... It's more old school like Call of Duties like these four here. I just wasn't a fan of them. The only reason why I went 
and bought the game was because I heard that it was going to have zombies. And I was hoping that the zombies was going to be really good. Because I know Call of Duty World War II had zombies. Or at least from what I hear. And I hear it was really good. And I actually was upset at the time that I actually missed that by years. I just didn't want to go back and pay the full price for it. Because I was just like, I don't want to pay the full price for a Call of Duty game that was like four years late at that point, I believe. It was like three or four years late to me. And I was just like, I just don't want to. So I just skipped it. If it goes, if I ever see it on sale, I might buy it and play the zombies. But for Call of Duty Vanguard, the zombies was really bad. They changed almost all the almost all the mechanics in the game. They made it to where you had to do weird missions all over the place. Go through portals and go different areas, do different missions and everything like that. It was more more of a uh, grind than anything. It's like you like it was tedious. You had to do all that stuff instead of just actually just doing what you want to do in a Call, a Call of Duty Zombies game. And that's just finish rounds. Now, they did add a new map for Warzone with this, which I did not like whatsoever. So, that's going to go into D tier. And speaking of that, I just remembered... Warzone came out with Modern Warfare 2019. And Warzone's not here, so I can't really rate Warzone itself. But Warzone is by far one of my favorite battle royales of all time. Like, literally, just playing in the first map, just constantly going into everything with all the skyscraper stuff, it was by far my favorite, even my favorite map in, uh, Call of Duty of all time for Warzone. And since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 actually brought Warzone in, it's gonna have to go higher than B. I am gonna actually move this up to A, strictly just for Modern Warfare's Warzone. Now, last but definitely not least will be Call of Duty World at War. Now, I played the crap out of this multiplayer. I played the crap out of the uh, campaign. The multiplayer was really fun. I know it's like older style, but it was also one of the main ones back in the day that I actually played like that. And I just loved it. Now, it's just really epic how when you beat the campaign, spoiler alert, by the way, if you when you beat the campaign, you actually transfer straight into a zombies mode literally right after the credits if you watch the credits and it just puts you into the first ever call of duty zombies map and it was just for me back in the day when i was a kid playing this for the first time it scared the shit out of me now i still played it a lot <laughs> to be fair it was really good but what gets it for me is that this was the first taste of modded Call of Duty Zombies. Now, you couldn't get it on Steam, any of the mods on Steam. You had to actually like download clients for that. But I did. A lot. I know a lot of people were afraid to do it because they were thinking that it was going to like break their computer. But I had a throwaway computer that was not connected to anything my parents had at the time. So I had nothing, nothing but availability to actually like download them and i played a ton of maps they were like you have cheese cube unlimited and you have all these mario maps all these other maps yeah there was a pokemon map there's a ton of maps that were just strictly made by people that just wanted to make new call of duty maps and this brought the modded community for call of duty to life this literally is what if there was no Call of Duty World at War custom zombies, I don't think there would be a mod community for any Call of Duty zombies. We would not even have Call of Duty Black Ops 3 modded zombies. Like, custom zombies would not be a thing if it wasn't for Call of Duty World at War custom zombies. And in general, we wouldn't have Call of Duty zombies at all if we didn't have Call of Duty World at War zombies. So this is going to have to go into 
the S tier, but it's going to go all the way in the front of the S tier. This is the god of Call of Duty for me. But that's it for me, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to tell me your guys' tier list it, in the comments below, make sure you do. And also, make sure you comment down below what you guys want me to make a tier list of next. Because hopefully I will be doing Call of Duty Zombies soon. Because that was another in my last tier list. And I will talk to you guys later.